Hello, my name is Poseidon, and welcome to Pantheon Talks. Are you struggling to find resources to help improve your comic? In this video, we will discuss five resources to help your stories improve. Let's begin. We should endeavor to learn from everything around us. To do this, we must widen our perspective. The truth is, we can learn from just about every experience that happens in our day-to-day -day life. All of the knowledge that we need does not just come from books and the classroom. Everything around us can be an experience to pull from and help us improve our writing abilities, storytelling, and our characters. However, it is up to us to take advantage of these powerful and often forgotten resources of knowledge. If we pay attention to our everyday surroundings, we can find something new in every aspect of our lives. We can learn from the barista making our coffee, or the teller at the bank, or the employee at the grocery store. All it takes is a little attentiveness instead of going through the motions like a mindless machine because you just never know what could be a source of inspiration. We want to open our minds to all the experiences from which we can draw even a little bit of new knowledge or inspiration. Never miss an opportunity to improve. Here are five different areas from our common everyday life that all of us can learn from. Our own experience, media, people, nature, and music. Number one, our own experience or our personal feelings. Emotions are complex. When thinking about ourselves, we probably never experience a single isolated emotion. Often we mask our true emotions with other things. For example, some mask getting hurt with sarcasm or anger with annoyance. The emotions that sweep through us are constantly changing. We as humans are multi-layered, twisted, complicated, and often have conflicting thoughts and feelings. When we think about our own experiences, we are rarely direct with what we want or feel. So when something happens to us in our normal day to day, take a moment and reflect on what you've experienced. Ask yourself, how did I respond? And why did I respond that way? Was my reaction one dimensional or was it tainted with something else? Understanding ourselves can help us create better characters. Consider when we are writing a scene, something happens to evoke an emotion in our characters. We probably have our character feel and express the most obvious emotion so our reader can feel it too. However, we can take it a step further and have the audience peel back layers of complexity within our characters. Let the predictable emotion come out, but consider adding something unexpected, tainted with something shameful, or layering it with something seemingly random. By observing our own behavior, we can develop well-rounded and three-dimensional characters. Number two, all forms of media. As comic creators, the content we consume may be solely focused on other webtoons. However, we never want to limit ourselves as writers. Absorb storytelling from all forms of media, good and bad. Don't limit yourself to one genre, style, or type of media. This will involve us reading more and consuming more content. But don't read passively for enjoyment or entertainment. Take time to slowly analyze why a story is working or not working. Why certain scenes work, but others do not. Start by dissecting the stories you love. Try to determine what it is you enjoy and what the creator is doing right or excelling at. And then think about ways we can incorporate what we learn into our own stories. We learn best by example, and gaining writing skills is no exception to this rule. When we read or watch something, we learn how others convey their messages, and then we can start to adapt our writing styles to those that we want to resonate with the most. Number three, people. Yes, you really can learn from everyone. Become a people watcher, but not in a creepy way. Analyze what they do and try to figure out why they made the choices they did. Think about family, friends, coworkers, random employees at places you visit. The list goes on. We want to get into the mind of these individuals and begin thinking about the interactions you had with them from a third person perspective. Try to empathize with their reasoning, even if you don't agree. What made them say or do whatever they did? What do their words and actions reveal about themselves? If you know them well, how does their background affect their choices? Now take that information and try incorporating their traits or experiences into the scenes or characters you create. This should allow us to give the scenes we are creating a more realistic tone 
and help not only ourselves, but the audience to potentially better understand the characters we create. This is not the only thing we can take away from our interactions with people. We can also steal from conversations we are a part of or hear directly in order to create better dialogue. Think about how they've structured their sentence. What inflections did they use? What expressions or audible quirks did you see or hear? This is probably one of the hardest parts of the writing process for some writers. To truly understand dialogue, we either need to talk to individuals directly or listen carefully to conversations we are privy to. Once we have a good understanding of the way someone speaks, we can mimic the voices of these individuals and incorporate them into our stories or comics. Perhaps you've created a psychologist character with the same vocal inflections as your mother, or your hero soldier talks just like your old baseball coach. If we want to ensure that our dialogue sounds the way real people speak, there is no better resource than real life people in our everyday lives. Number four, nature. Nature can be one of our greatest teachers. We may not spend as much time outdoors as previous generations, but nature can still teach us about life, science, psychology, technology, and medicine, among other things. However, to acquire this knowledge, we must do deep and intensive research. Let's look at two examples of how nature can be a fantastic resource of inspiration. Take the ant colony structure, for example. One article states, an ant colony is like a factory. Nestmates work together to convert resources, food, into products, more ants. This process is made more efficient through division of labor, where different individuals specialize in different jobs. On the surface, this may seem like a boring or uninteresting fact about ants. However, imagine this concept being applied into a book or a TV show. Well, that's exactly what Hunter Hunter did. In the Chimera Ant Arc, which is arguably one of Hunter Hunter's best arcs, by implementing the ant colony structure, it created a unique storyline and interesting characters unlike anything found in that series thus far which not only made the story stand out, but impacted the audience's view by taking a concept we are all familiar with and twisting it into a scary reality. Our second example is that of iron. An article on iron states, iron is a mineral that the body needs for growth and development. Your body uses iron to make hemoglobin, a protein in red blood cells that carries oxygen from the lungs to all parts of the body, and myoglobin, a protein that provides oxygen to muscles. Again, on the surface, this may seem like a boring fact that doesn't expand on anything impactful to our stories. However, what if you added this understanding of how iron works within the body to your magic system? Well, that's what one series did, and by implementing this concept from nature into their series, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure adds a unique spin on the power of iron manipulation. Risotto has the ability to control iron, but he does so in a way that is truly unique to the character and the ability. This is because the creator had a basic understanding of the concept found in nature. When we take time to research different facts within nature, it can open the door to creating fantastical and unique concepts. Finally, number five, music. Music has the ability to move us, our memories, and our imaginations. It has the power to transport us to another location, time period, or even reality. The lyrics and the melody may remind us of a moment we've experienced, a memory, or a feeling we've forgotten. To understand this concept, we need to ask ourselves, how can lyrics and music specifically help our stories? Some forms of music are extremely inspirational due to the powerful words contained in the lyrics. Strong lyrics can create a story which can inspire concepts and ideas within us. A song about love, loss, lust, or the hardships of life can help us to connect to that experience or emotions we are trying to create within our stories. Next, the melody. How can the melody and music help our stories? Each time we listen to a new band or a new style of music, we are essentially expanding our experience or concept of the world. There is nothing like listening to a tribal African melody or the unique strumming of classical Asian instruments. Foreign or even unusual music styles can transport us to a different mental space, which can open doors into creating unique and beautiful worlds that our audience may not be familiar with. Here are three questions to ask yourself when you're listening to music. What type of scene would this song be used for? How does the song make you feel? What do the lyrics or melody make you think about? 
Music can be an extremely powerful tool in creating a unique world and evoking complex emotions within our characters. Look at all of these free resources we've gone through that we can learn from to help improve our comics. We just need to take advantage of it. If you have applied any of these concepts to help improve your comic, let us know in the comment section below. Next week, we will discuss how to focus my webtoon idea. The Pantheon would like to express a huge thank you to our patrons, Diana and Taylor Draws. Your support means so much to us. You, as well as all of our viewers, inspire us to continue breaking down the writing process and sharing our findings. A link to our Patreon where you can find updates about our projects can be found in the description below. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe, leave us a like, comment, and don't forget to ring the bell so that you won't miss our next upload. Be sure to follow us on all our social media accounts, also linked in the description. We are really active on Instagram, so if you want to chat with us, feel free to stop by and say hi. Alright, we'll catch you in our next video.